Good morning, folks. We've got some solar activity to check out today. We'll also take a peek at tropical development, see a cool story from the James Webb Space Telescope, and we'll highlight one more session upcoming at the AGU meeting. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and while there was only mid-level flaring, we did have some snaps that continued to produce minor CME activity. Most notably, the southern departing active region sunspots during a medium duration C-class flare event. We'll show this one a couple times so you should be able to see the plasma pushed out by the flare. This one may give us a glancing blow impact, but it would be minor. The sunspots are slightly less numerous heading into today, but the plasma filaments are not. Several thin dark ropes here and we'll be watching their stability levels most of all today. Up next, let's go to the tropics, where forecasters are more focused on a system that may develop in the Atlantic, but the models all show the development of a hurricane off the coast of Mexico in the Pacific. This one expected to shift northwards towards Baja. We'll have eyes on that system as it approaches land. Up next, we've got quartz crystals in the clouds of an exoplanet. That is about the strangest thing we've seen in a distant world, and we have seen some strange chemical spectroscopy in exoplanets before. Lastly, folks, after two straight days of reporting amazing updates on geomagnetic excursion data in these morning shows that will be featured in the upcoming AGU meeting, our last one here is on the offsets discovered of apparently matching paleomagnetic events. They don't always line up in the sediment the way the geologists would like, which points back to the concept of calling into question the certainty of some of their dating techniques of those events. Not only have we previously shown reason to doubt the isotope records, but depth measurements don't give the full story either. Still much to understand about how Earth records major events of the past. Folks, we're hoping to see many of you out at Observer Ranch next month. The EMP-proof disaster vehicle will be there, and it'll be a great chance to hang out with other observers and check out the progress as the ranch is set to open early next year. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.